In this video, I am going to discuss another example of of a straight line which is uh, going to incline with both the planes. Okay. So before going to discuss, I am uh, going to give another information for the previous problem. Okay. So this previous problem, what uh, you have, uh, I have already explained. So you just calculate the values of theta and phi over here. Okay. So using the protector okay using the protector just calculate the values of theta okay and from here you have to calculate the values of phi okay so <coughs> this is the next problem so next problem is a line a b 65 mm long okay so this is the original length i can say that 65 mm long this is the original length okay has its end at 20 mm above hp okay so 20 mm above HP means above XY and 25 mm in front of the BP means below XY. The end B is 40 mm above HP and 65 mm in front of the BP. Okay, means 40 mm above XY and 65 mm uh, below XY. Okay. Draw the projection of AB and show its inclination with HP and BP. Okay. So, in this problem also you have to draw the projection and you have to calculate the inclination with respect to uh, horizontal plane and vertical plane. Okay. Theta and pi you have to, uh, you are going to calculate. Okay. So, I am going to start. So, first of all I have drawn this reference line XY. Okay. And after that I am going to draw okay two points okay one is 20 mm above xy and another is 25 mm below xy okay so these are the point a and in the right hand side in this side i'm going to draw 40 mm okay from here to here 40 mm and from here to here 65 mm okay and i'm going to draw the locus okay so let's start this is 20 this is 25 these are going to be the locus and from this end 40 mm And this is 65. Okay. So I am going to draw the locus over here. And here also. Okay, so this is I can write E F and this is J K J K okay so this is my address and this is A okay now taking address as a center and radius equal to 65 because the original length is 65 okay original length is 65 so taking radius equal to 60 i am going to draw an arc on ef okay so radius is a center okay radius equal to 65 i am going to draw an arc over here okay so this arc is nothing but the intersection point is b dash okay now i am going to draw the line okay so this line will be 65 okay and this is the inclination angle okay theta okay so you have to measure this angle okay i have given only theta but you have to measure this inclination okay now project this b dash 
from here to B. Okay, so similar concept I am going to be used. Okay, so first I have taken that the line is parallel to one plane. Okay, so here it is parallel to what? Uh, vertical plane. Okay, and parallel to vertical plane. Okay, so in that case uh, you will get actual length on the front view. So this is the front view. That's why you are going to get actual length in the front view. Means above x y. Okay, and uh, top view you are going to get a uh, less dimension okay so this is your b okay so this a b is the this a b is the length of the top view okay a b is the length of the top view similarly i am going to take a is a center okay and radius equal to 65 i am going to draw an arc over here okay so this is nothing but b1 okay so this intersection point is b1 okay now i am going to join this so from here to here is 65 okay and this angle is the inclination okay with respect to the plane okay okay so this is the inclination with vertical plane okay now you are going to measure this thing okay so if you measure this you will get some angle okay so you determine the angle now what you have to do okay so taking a as a center a b as a radius okay you have to draw an arc okay so this is going to intersect at uh, some point b2 okay so this interaction point is suppose b2 okay okay so before doing this uh, you have to you have to uh, make a projector line from here to here okay so this is the projector okay from here to here so this is nothing but the front view okay front view suppose at that case what happened uh, front view is in this way okay so the inclination is with vertical plane okay so previously inclination is this way the so inclination is with uh, horizontal plane and parallel to vertical plane now in the second case uh, we are going to assume that the line is inclined with vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane so if it is parallel to horizontal plane okay then from top view you are going to get the accurate length that's why you are going to get the accurate length here okay from the top view and this is the front view so front view you are going to get a smaller length okay so this is nothing but your a dash b1 dash okay from b b1 it is projected that's why it is b1 dash here okay so this is nothing but your uh, front view okay now from here to here you have to draw an arc and taking a dash as a center and a b1 dash as a radius you have to draw an arc okay so if, if you draw an arc from here so it will going to intercept over here okay so this is nothing but your b2 dash okay this is your b2 dash okay now if you draw a line from here to here you can see that they are in same line okay they are in same line okay so this is the front view this is the front view and sorry top view and this one is the front view okay this one is the front view okay a dash b2 dash is the front view for this uh, problem okay and a b2 is the top view okay now you have to write the dimension okay so this is nothing but the original length 65 okay and from here to here also 65 okay so I am going to 
okay so this is 25 mm this is 20 mm okay and this is 65 and this is 40 mm okay so theta and phi you have to calculate okay using protector using protector you have to measure the angle okay for this and for this okay so i think you have understand the problem okay okay so this type in such types of problem where a line is inclined with both the planes first you have to consider that the line is parallel to one plane and inclined to other plane okay so first of all what i have taken parallel to horizontal plane okay and so parallel to vertical plane and inclined to the horizontal plane okay this is the first case that i have taken next i have taken that parallel to the horizontal plane and inclined to the vertical plane okay so in this way you can uh, draw the projections thank you